The 4400 has various functions on the main fascia panel. The first one being the main power button to turn the console off and on. We then have seven boom sections along the top as well as a master boom switch. The master boom switch will turn the, all the booms on and off whereas the individual boom switches will turn each boom section off individually. We also have an increase and decrease button here so that we can increase or decrease the, the rate on the go via the rate delta bump function. The main screen is laid out so that the main product or product one is highlighted along the top and the mode will tell you if you in, uh, are in auto, manual or if the function is turned off. On the right hand side we have revs per minute of the main liquid pump that is mounted on the sprayer. The two bars underneath are for second product and third product which would be a direct chemical injection or a second product on a sprayer. The screen below that is a data screen which allows us to check all our constants and their calibration figures also our data keys along the bottom, area, field volume, distance, volume per minute, so forth. In the bottom left hand corner we have a speed figure which gives us ground speed when the sprayer is moving. On the right hand side we have all our boom functions which again tells us when the booms are turned off and on. With monitors that have ultra glide boom level that will also be displayed in the bottom right hand corner. GPS data functions will be displayed in this area here when you are data logging. The top buttons along on a 4400 console again house the calibration figures for the constant values which allow the console to work and control auto rate. The bottom functions are all data keys which give us accumulative data as the spray is going. The data menu key allows us to go into the programming of the console and set up various functions such as alarms and also um, console data and when a CAN is connected, when the CAN bus is connected through the DCI or UltraGlide, it allows us to check the programming on various controllers. Also the data menu will give you a full abbreviation table of all the constants that have been entered into the calibration figures so that you can monitor that at the ease of pressing one button. The console has the main harness into the back of it as well as some other harnesses which is the speed sensor which is connected to our sprayer to give us our ground speed. Also down lower the CAN bus connector which would be connected for the ultra glide or the DCI systems. We have an inline fuse which is fitted to protect the console for any spikes or voltage problems that might occur and a serial port which is connected for DCI, sorry, for GPS inputs or for data logging on various other consoles such as the Viper screen or field mapping. <laughs>